Wooden cutting boards. They're slick, durable, and can really sexify a kitchen. They say, yeah, I can cook. How you doing? They also get dirty and spotty, and you're probably watching this because you know that you need to clean yours. So unlike plastic cutting boards, wood cutting boards cannot be put in the dishwasher and do require some special attention. Some people really love their wooden cutting boards. I actually know people that have inherited theirs, and I've also had to hear the associated stories. Now just a couple of quick tips about these boards before we get into the cleaning routine. Wood cutting boards are great for most fruits, vegetables, breads, and cheeses. But super soft cheese like brie, raw meat, poultry, and fish, they should be cut on plastic boards only. So I have these flexible ones and they actually come with like little pictures of what you should be cutting on there. And I also avoid cutting beets or berries on the wood board or any fruits and vegetables that bleed colors. It just creates more work for you, so again, I would recommend these guys. Also, don't submerge your board fully in water and never put it in a dishwasher because water can warp the wood. Okay, let's cut the small top and get to business. There are three key parts to maintaining your wood cutting board. Part one, cleaning. Make sure you clean your board after each time you use it. Just use a clean cloth dipped in a bit of soapy water and wipe the board in the direction of the grain. Then, quickly rinse the board with hot water and pat it with a dry part of the cloth to remove that extra moisture. Once it's clean, leave it in an upright position to allow it to dry properly. Part two is disinfecting. Remember my friends, cleaning, disinfecting, two different things. If you feel your board needs a good disinfecting session, maybe once a week is best, here's what you can try. Sprinkle a tablespoon of coarse salt over your cutting board. Now using a lemon cut in half and a little bit of elbow grease, start to scrub the board for a few minutes. As you scrub, squeeze the juice out of the lemon. The acid in that lemon will help disinfect the board and the salt acts as an abrasive agent to get rid of any leftover food or stains. Let this sit dampen for about five minutes or so after scrubbing. Then, rinse it with hot water and dry it with a paper towel or clean cloth and store it in the upright position. And finally, part three is seasoning. Okay, this doesn't mean that you break out the Mrs. Dash or Molly McButter and sprinkle it on the board. The term seasoning, in this case, essentially refers to conditioning and moisturizing the wood, similar to what you would do to your hair. You wanna prevent moisture loss, drying, cracking, and splitting shampoo commercial. So hair conditioning is not your answer here, but mineral oil or specialty board seasoning oil is. I found this at a big box store. Very easy to come across. Anyway, mineral oil is synthetic and it won't go rancid, which means it doesn't go smelly and yucky the way a vegetable oil would. So the way to do it is like this. Warm the oil before spreading it onto your board. So put it in a microwave safe bowl, heat it up for about 20 seconds. Then, use a paper towel, dip it in the oil, and rub it onto your board, following the grain of the wood. Now, you don't want the board to be dripping in oil, but you don't want to skimp on the oil either. Apply the oil evenly until the wood stops absorbing the oil. Once you get to that point, use a fresh paper towel to remove all remaining surface oil. Allow the board to dry overnight before using it again. You can season your board about once a month. It's fair to say that this little slab of wood does require some extra attention every now and then, but the next time you're at a party with some kitchen snobs, you can join right into the conversation. Well, I guess as long as the subject is about cleaning your cutting board. Otherwise, you're shit out of luck. Our blog offers a ton more details, so be sure to check it out at cleanmyspace.com. And of course, I've hooked you up with the link in the comment box below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any cutting board cleaning questions or tips, don't forget to leave them in our comment box below. And remember, if you haven't already, to hit subscribe, which is right down there, to catch more of our great cleaning videos, including tips, tricks, product reviews, and giveaways. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.